barriers. Maybe that's one of the biggest barriers I've ran into too is, is people, especially with Richard, um, people just, they can't get over like themselves and their perception. There's, you know, their scam indicator that's malfunctioning as, as we, as we all know that, and they just can't get into it enough to actually soak in what he's talking about, the message and, and all the jams you can get from it. How is that? Is that the biggest thing to overcome learning from people who are wildly successful, who may, who may be, you know, um, who, who may not jive with your typical uh, person who's putting themselves out there. They're not humble. They're not, you know, all this stuff, but Hey, they have a lot to learn. How, how do you get past that? Cause I think there's, I think our community could double today. If just all the people who could get past the stuff that Richard Hart says and acts and stuff, if they could just get past that. They would buy into the actual, you know, what he's actually talking about. A hundred percent. I think the main idea is ego. I think through meditation, stuff like that, you learn how to remove your ego. Which is why get out of, I love meditation. Get out of your so own much. way. That, that sort of thing. Exactly. And it's just whenever whenever you look at people, I, I always try to expose myself to new ideas and contrarian worldviews. And then I take what I like and I discard what I don't like. I never hate the person. Yes. I just like, what do they believe? Exactly. What are the principles? What are the values? Exactly. What can I take? How can I implement it in my own life? And kind of re- change, take away the person and focus on what is the message. And a lot of people, like another example, you have Richard Hart in the crypto space. And just like in the whole masculinity space, you have Andrew Tate. He's a perfect example of that. Mm. People hate him and hate him and hate him. But then when you actually listen to his message, you can be like, okay, I should improve here in my area of life. I actually like this idea. I don't like this idea. You take what you like. You discard what you don't like. You don't hate the dude and completely disregard the message. Yeah. I I don't think people uh, intuitively realize like the nuance, the nuance that is other people. Like they they may they may see a problem in someone and then automatically throw everything else away about that person and no one is perfect everyone has problems but there are certain successful people that if they have something that i want i want to pay attention to what made them successful and like you said i have the ability to take the good leave the bad and and i try to tell people that in my youtube channels i'm just a kid you know, just a guy trying to go out this myself. I know I don't know it all. Here's what I'm doing. Here's why. Here's my explanations. But but look at me the same way. Like if there's something good here, be selfish for it. And that's how I read these books is I'm selfish. Like there's not a right way to read the book necessarily. Take the value that's there. Skip, skip paragraphs. Who gives like this is all for you. Just be selfish. Mm-hmm. If you find like a couple good things in a book, underline them. Take that change your life because of that thing. And I would be really careful, um, you know, just automatically turning someone off completely, especially if, if you can tell that um, they have something that you, you think is valuable. Like they probably know something that you don't and you can probably learn from them. Yeah, I love that. I just, you don't need to be virtuous when you're learning, when you're consuming, you, you don't do need to, to be like, I, I just, Max, I'm saying it. I just was able to like put that together. Like you don't need to say, Oh, this is a good person. I need to learn from them. You can learn. From, like I was in the chat a second ago, you know, somebody mentioned Grant Cardone, they may scam or something like that. I'm like, I, I don't even, what, there's another guy who, who was supposed to be Napoleon, Napoleon Hill. Like he was like, you know, had this reputation, whatever too. And I'm like, I learned a ton from his book. So yes. I don't care if it's a scammer or not. I don't, Same. I don't read his books yes. because I think he's a good guy. I read his books because I want to learn something. Yep. So you can learn from you can from scammers, you know, alleged scammers, whatever. You can learn from bad people. You don't need to always learn from good people uh, to get you know good things uh, that you can use and reuse in your life. Um, so that, that's a I love the way you put it, Max, and that you really hit it on the head on that one. 